बेहद की परम 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 शांति टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ यूनिवर्स वी होप बाय नाउ आवर व्यूअर्स मस्ट हैव डेवलप द अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट देयर आर मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस और रैदर वी से द इनफाइनाइट यूनिवर्सेस इन कन्वर्सेशन विद बापू जी ही एक्सप्लेन्स द हिस्ट्री ऑफ आवर यूनिवर्स and its creation and about the creator anant asked bapu ji about the history of souls history of earth history of universe history of human life and history of everything bapu ji said that the history of universe will cover the history of galaxies and the solar systems it will also include trillions and trillions of multiverses first of all one must understand why and how was the universe created there are different categories of souls like devatma that is guardian angels duratma demons papatma evil souls etc then in the higher dimensions live farishte which are called angels above them dwell the param 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 souls that is supreme souls the creator of the universe is param mahashiva the creator of one solar system is shiva The creator of galaxy is Mahashiva. Param Mahashiva is the creator of one universe. He is he is an an extract form. There is energy and pure divine light in him. The core of the light possesses infinite powers which is protected by the shield of might. might is the mahatatva around the light the rays that cover the core supreme divine light is mahatatva when the creator of the universe was in abstract form he willed to create crores and crores of universe then two souls emerge out of param mahashiva In this thought process multiple souls were created Initially 12 souls were created they circled themselves in space they created a space in the universe Further the souls had a break up resulting into 2 to 4 4 to 8 and so on Bapuji further said that visible universe is only a mini school part of the universe it is like a dot it is only 156 trillion light years the whole universe is several lakhs of arab light years it is beyond our imaginations visible universe is a negligible portion of the entire universe it is like a drop in the ocean the tools and the instruments used by scientists are made up of physical elements therefore they have limitations the physical elements are lower capacity and visibility if these devices are converted into the devices with the supreme elements their capacity is multiplied many many times the energy in the supreme elements is far beyond imagination and infinite in a, in our minds and scriptures there is no mention of all these things because our mythology and scriptures 
we have contained the story of one solar system only and here we are talking about our universe therefore this param knowledge that is the supreme divine knowledge is not found anywhere in the books there are billions of solar systems in one galaxy and there are hundred and billions galaxies in one universe now even science says that there are more than 200 billion galaxies and there are hundred of billions of solar system in each galaxy thus the universe is truly magnificent initially the incorporeal world was created and the souls were in abstract eternal form parallel universe is a vast subject it is like talking about 10 raised to power of 100 there are multi universes there are invisible universes which bapuji had visualized through his divine eyes during meditation he said that he describes what he has seen in a discovery channel program it was mentioned that the creator of these universes who is jeev has all the recording in his memory if these recordings can be dispersed the history of universe can be unfolded Bapuji said that no jeev can do this it is only the almighty authority who can tell about the history of the universe it is only the almighty authority who can also tell only by only the creator of the universe param mahashiva will have the memory of all this creation param mahashiva would have all the recordings of the history of the universe but how to read these recording is important first paramdham was created that is the supreme abode was created 9 lakh of souls were created in the supreme abode first 12 then 24 and then 108 seed souls were created then 16000 and finally 9 lakhs souls were created the creation was formless incorporeal and shapeless they were in a form of energy the souls were made up of pure divine light they were high quality souls they were param 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 atma we can also call them the creation of mahashiva it was the creation of param mahashiva 9 lakh mahashivas were created it can be described as 16 degree dimensions that is nirakari sampoon and vice these were in incorporeal form but gradually the world was changing to the subtle that is the akari form the souls then descended to 15 degrees the seed souls began to take forms core of mahashiva was light surrounded by might the mahatatva in supreme abode there is mahatatva one soul created the other it was like action to reaction up to 16000 souls the environment of param mahatatva was there further down when 9 lakh souls were created there was param ether element that is the supreme ether element in the environment environment was created from the loss and the diffusion of power in the creation process the flow of divine light and energy leads to the formation of supreme ether element 
till 16,000 souls, there was Param Mahatattva element. But when 9 lakh souls were created, Supreme Ether element was created. At 15 degree dimension, souls took shape and transformed from incorporeal to subtle. Time started when the universe was created. Gradually, supreme elemental world began to form. The composition of the elements in the soul also changed with time and creation. From Nirakari, that is the incorporeal form, it changed to subtle, that is the Akari form. Initially, the soul was covered with the Param Mahatattva. When the creation multiplied, the supreme ether element formed. The second layer around the Param Mahatattva. It leads to shape formation. Mahashiva transformed from abstract to subtle at 14 degree dimension. Till 14 degree dimension, two crores of souls were created. From 16 degree to 14 degree dimension, we call it Mulvatan. Mool means seed or the origin, the beginning. Further descending from 14 degree dimensions, souls started to form better shape and reaching 12 degree dimension, figures and features were developing. Gradually declining to 9 celestial degrees, 33 crores deities were cre created. They are called infinite god and goddesses. In our mythology and scriptures, they are mentioned as eternal kingdom of god and goddesses. They can be called Param Purush, that is, supreme man. Above them are the infinite god and goddesses. There are maha gods and goddesses in the galaxies too. When, when Param Maha God thought of multiplying and creating his own nature, that is the Shakti or called Prakriti, from within, Shiv also created his Shakti. Mahashiva created his Mahashakti. Vishnu took out Lakshmi from his image. Male figures took out female figures from within, creating their own Prakriti, that is the nature or an image. There the time is eternal. It is not possible to count it, but approximately it can be calculated and can be explained as follows. The age of our solar system is equal to Brahma's 100 years. Brahma's one day is equal to 864 crores on the earth. It is Chaturyug on earth comprising of four yugas. First, Satyuk. Second, Dwapar Yug. Third, Treta Yug. And fourth, Kal Yug. When such thousand Yugas are completed, it is equal to Brahma's one day. Brahma's hundred years is equal to the age of our universe. If we talk about Mahashiva, we have to talk about the age of Maha, that is giant universe. The creation is ongoing task of Mahashiva. He descended from abstract form to the subtle form. Mahashiva created Mahashakti and thus 33 crore Mahashivas were created. Shankar is different from Shivas. Mahashiva and Mahashakti amounted to 66 crores. These souls were only Mahapurush. Gradually, there was a degeneration and these souls descended from 16 celestial dimension to 14 dimension. Here, supreme ether element was formed. Till 9 dimensions, supreme ether, supreme air, 
supreme fire elemental world existed. The visible universe is like a dot coming down from nine dimension. Galaxies were created by Mahashiva and Mahashakti. Lot of galaxies were made. At that point, these galaxies were of supreme elements, that is the Param Tattva. The 33 crores god and goddesses are Mahadevas and Devis. They made many giant galaxies. These galaxies are many lakhs of light years big. These galaxies were of supreme elements. Different creators took place by 33 crore god and goddesses. Few created one or two or even thousand. They began to compete in, de in, deco in decorating their individual galaxies. All the galaxies were unique and different in shape, size, color, etc. because their element comp composition and combinations was also different. There were hundred billions of galaxies with different shape, size and color, etc. As the compet competition increased, the consumption of supreme elements increased. Mahashiva's soul energy was reducing with the creation of galaxy. There was a loss of power from the creation of the father, Param Shiva, Param Mahashiva, and therefore he too began to fall down. At the time of the creation, he had made a boundary of the divine light around. The universe which is still there, it is quadrant with Paramahatattva. 50% of power is still there and half of the power came down with the creation. Gradually, at 8 celestial degree, the element started forming. The combination of elements and the supreme elements took place. Galaxy also started transforming in elements. Earlier there was 90% of supreme elements and 10% of physical elements. But then the ratio changed to 80 is to 20 that is 80% of supreme elements and 20% of physical elements further down to 70 is to 30 and so on. Further down to 7 dimension galaxy grew in numbers and pieces. As the galaxy increased, the creation also increased. With the increase in three galaxies in the Mahashivas were created. With further breakdown to 9, 27 and 81 pieces, the combination of supreme elements changed. Thus, all the galaxies have different combinations of elements. With the downfall, the combinations change from supreme elements to physical elements. All the galaxies and the creation finally descended and settled at zero degree. When Param Mahashiva slowly comes down, it is the zero degree universe. He resides at the center point of the zero degree galaxy. In the center, there is a controlling system of the zero degree universe. From the periphery to the center, it measures the distance of 600 Arab light years. Its diameter will be 1200 Arab light years. Our galaxy in the center surrounded by space. The visible universe is only a very small portion. It is just 156 trillion light years. Bapuji then explained how the solar system has formed. When the environment of the supreme element was forming, half of the energy stayed there and some came down with the creation. 
when multiple galaxies were created they were falling into pieces science also talks of 156 billion light years 93 billion light years out of it is the visible universe Science has detected around 200 billion galaxies. They have counted only the giant galaxies, not the small ones. Scientists use the tools and the instruments made up of physical element. They can have the vision of the whole universe because the combination above is of the supreme divine light and the param elements. The small dot of the solar system is covered with Mahatattva and light. There are seven layers around our solar system. There is a layer of supreme ether element surrounding our solar system. Anant asked Papuji about deities and their presence. Bapuji replied that our present in their galaxies all have come down to zero dimension. Galaxies started shrinking due to the change in the composition of the elements from the supreme elements to the physical elements. They were billion times bigger in size as compared to now. The creator of the universe, Paramahashiva, has come down. He is at the center point of the zero dimension. Many creators of the galaxy, that is Mahashivas, have come and reside in the space created by Paramahashiva. Under his controlling area, they were tried of creating their creation and loss of power. The core of the visible universe is of Param Divine Light and it is surrounded by Param Tattva that is the supreme elements. Today also there is a radius of supreme element over 100 billion light years. The gravity of the nucleus is very forceful and trillions of trillions galaxies are revolving around it. It is impossible to count them and know about them through physical instruments. Bapuji said that in future, science will refine their tools. Our solar system will also get converted into supreme refined elements. Our planet Sun will also get refined. Everything will turn into pure divine and refined elements. We will be able to change our solar system in the middle. In the middle there is Paramahashiva. So this power make all the galaxies move. The galaxy is moving on its own axis at the speed of 25 lakh kilometers per hour. It is moving at a very high speed in the universe. They are all revolving due to the gravitational pull at the center. The Mahashiva is revolving around the Paramahashiva. The 33 crores god and goddesses totaling of 66 crores, they actually got multiplied. The galaxies are equal to the number of Mahashivas. In our minds, it is believed that we all are Shivas. We tell that we are not Shiva, but in fact, we are the souls beyond Mahashivas and Paramahashivas. We are the creator of the Supreme World. This was all about talking uh, about our galaxy and the universe, the creation of universe and the creation of galaxy. So far, we have understood that the creator of universe is Param Mahashiva and the creator of galaxy is Mahashiva. Further coming down, we will also talk about creation of our solar system or the visible universe.
we will end up this session but further we will continue this session of history and creation of the solar systems and the universe with Bapuji. We will soon upload the second part of this video. Till then, keep watching Bapuji's video. Do subscribe the channel. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and share with the other people. For more information, you can refer Bapuji's book available on Amazon in a Kindle form and a paper book format. Our new releases are Our Alien Connection and the other is From the Heart of God. For more details, visit our website www.discoveryofnewworld.com Thank you. Behad ki param 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 shanti.